Michael Bisping recently joined Adam Catterall and Nick Pete to preview Saturday's main event, speaking on BT Sports UFC 260 preview show. Bisping gave his prediction for the long-anticipated rematch between Francis Ngannou and Stipe Miocic. Check out what he said. Uh, so yeah, I'm more than happy to give a pick. Nick, what is going on, mate? The, the greatest heavyweight champion that the sport has ever seen. And you just write him off like that. The guy hasn't got a chance. Shame on you. Shame on you. <laughs> no, listen, I, I agree with your assessment. Ngannou does essentially have one round to do it. Um, the problem for Ngannou is experience, right? Yeah. Stipe definitely has the experience advantage and you cannot buy that. It can only be earned. And again, since that first fight, he hasn't really gathered any experience because you go out there I and mean, look at the fight against, was it Rosenstroke? Mm. He just went out there and just blitzed him, you know? Yeah. And that's essentially what he does with every single fight. And that's fantastic. That's a great confidence builder, but you're not learning any lessons. You're not getting put in bad positions. And again, it's another cliche. You only learn from your defeats, you know, and that's true. But you also learn if you go a distance, if you go into the deep waters, if you will, and he hasn't had chance to do that. So that will impact him a little bit, you know, because since then, you know, maybe this confidence of knocking everybody out, Maybe that affects your ability to get out of bed in the morning and go for a run. Maybe yeah. you don't push yourself as hard on the pads. Maybe you don't do 10 rounds of pad works and the drills and the circuit training and you're pushing yourself so hard when you're running down the street going, ah, 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 because you're doing your sprints because you don't need to. Because I can yeah. just knock anybody out with one shot. You know what I'm saying? And if he has that mentality, he's going to lose this fight because Stipe miocic has been in there with him. He's beating him. He knows what to do. And he can out-wrestle in Garner all day long. Kamzat Chimaev announced his retirement from MMA after he was forced out of his March 13th main event fight against Leon Edwards due to health issues. After the announcement, UFC President Dana White said Chimaev would be coming back, but as of late, he said he wasn't so sure. Now, Chimaev took to Twitter to announce he will be coming back to competition. Who would you like to see Kamzat Chimaev fight in his return to the UFC? Let us know in the comments section. A highly anticipated trilogy bout between Conor McGregor and Dustin Poirier is in the works for UFC event scheduled on July 10th. The news was originally reported on Tuesday by Georgian journalist Georgi Kokyashvili, lead MMA reporter for Ajara Sport TV, the official Ultimate Fighting Championship partner in Georgia. Who do you guys think is going to win the trilogy fight? McGregor or Poirier? Leave your comments below. On Thursday, 
Dana White announced that the promotion had booked a fight between Michael Chandler and Charles Oliveira for the vacant lightweight title at UFC 262 on May 15th. Taking to his Instagram account on Monday, Oliveira shared new training footage as he prepares for the fight. Check out the footage. Speaking on the DC and Hawani show, Cormier discussed whether Michael Chandler deserves a title shot having only one fight in the UFC. Here's what he said. So here's the thing. They got it right. It oh. should be Oliveira. It that should be Oliveira. That means you got it wrong. No. It should be Oliveira. Mm -hmm. Right? I love the Chandler pick and I love Michael Chandler. I still believe it should be Gage. I really do. Wait, because, wait no, I'm saying, I was wrong on the fight pick. Chandler mm -hmm. Gagey made all the sense in the world. Mm -hmm. I think Oliveira, because remember, he was the guy that we thought was out on an island. Yep, I yep. think Oliveira should be in the title fight. I believe that when it boils down to Chandler Gagey, me personally, just based on Gagey losing to Habib in the last fight as the interim champion, I think he should have fought Oliveira for the belt. And I've said this from day one, hmm. right? That no matter who fights for the belt, Justin Gaethje needs to be a part of that fight. I've said that and I still believe it. I mean, if we really want to do things completely right, there's no reason Dustin Poirier shouldn't just get the belt put on him right now. But he's making a business decision to go and fight McGregor. Make Let me be clear. This is not a knock on Michael Chandler in no way, shape, or form. Michael Chandler is an absolute stud. I just don't understand how Gaethje is not a part of this fight in some way, shape, or form. So when you look at this fight, there's just so many variables where if you're going to bet on it, it's so scary to bet on, but I think your safest bet is betting on the over under. It's one and a half rounds. So if this fight is under two rounds, who do you think wins? Francis. If you think it goes past two rounds, who do you think wins? Stipe. That's what you're betting. That's what this comes down to. So if you want to get rid of some of those X factors and those unknowns, is Francis a better fighter? Is, has age caught up with Steve A finally? Bet on the over under, man, of one and a half rounds. Because I would be willing to bet a good amount of money. If Steve A doesn't get knocked out in the first round, if this goes in the second, third, fourth, and fifth round, Steve A, that means he's found a way to avoid those huge fists, those African fists, and he's landing takedowns. He's making a dirty fight, and he's beating Francis up, and he's going to drag him in the later rounds. Because if this goes out of the first round, Stipe's winning this fight. Francis ain't knocking him out in the second, third, fourth, or fifth. If you're a Francis fan, you got to hope he gets it done that first round. I'm just not willing to jump on the Francis train saying he's this completely different fighter and his wrestling's better and his mindset's better. I don't fucking know, and neither do you guys. Because it we haven't seen that. So that narrative does not work for me. 